welcome back to another thrilling episode of Lumberjack Bar. Today, what we're going to make is something I make once or twice a week. It's uh, my own burritos. I use uh, a lot of ingredients that are already laying around the house, especially um, some meats that might have been left over from one of uh, Mrs. Lumberjack's wonderful meals. One of the reasons why I'm making this is because they, uh, they thought that this might go well on the channel and that you might like it. Uh, notwithstanding, they smell the aromas every time I make them. So we'll get into it right now with the ingredients. Right here I have um, some of Mrs. Lumberjack's uh, chicken she made the other night. And I just got it uh, kind of chopped up, not real fine or anything. But uh, I didn't want long strands. And uh, that's not going to get cooked because it already is. We got some uh, red pepper over there. That's about a half of a really huge red pepper. Diced up, not super fine, but we didn't want it chunky. Over on the other side is some uh, onion that was diced up as well. And that um, and the peppers, are gonna, I'm going to saute them. Now, we have some rice that Mrs. Lumberjack's going to work on. Uh, and she's going to use a half a cup of that. Um, what was the onion? Uh, the onion was uh, one whole yellow onion, I guess they are. And I said that was half red pepper. Notwithstanding, once uh, the uh, onion and pepper are sauteed, put them into the chicken, mix in all of our ingredients here, our spices, garlic powder, we got coarse black pepper, we got some cumin, some onion powder, salt sparingly, and then um, once that's all mixed together, all we have to do then is warm up the tortillas. We're going to make eight of these. I have uh, three here in a new bag. Uh, just soften them up in the microwave and then get to uh, rolling them together. We put some, this is a uh, I got some mayo, four tablespoons I would guess, and a cup, eh, maybe maybe a, a, a teaspoon and a half of some hot sauce. Not real hot sauce, like Louisiana hot sauce. And that goes on the bottom, the uh, meat and vegetable concoction on top of that. And uh, with uh, the spices, of course, mixed in, and then some cheese rolled up. We're going to do it uh, on, the, on the fire ring over at my in-laws. And uh, we're going to use a cast iron pan to do it. So we'll uh, see you then. Okay, let's saute these onions and peppers. Got ourselves a good hot pan. This is one of them copper chef dealios or whatever. And uh, it works out pretty good. A little bit of uh, oil down in the bottom. That's just regular uh, vegetable oil. And uh, we love that sizzle. And there's our pepper. And we'll just get them so that they're softened up. That's what we're looking for. It doesn't have to be uh, brown necessarily. We're not going to take it too, too terribly far. They do uh, get nice and heated up in the burritos too. So once this is done, then we'll move on making our mixture. And uh, it's going to be delicious. Delicious. So I'm not going to put any salt or pepper or anything on these onions because uh, I'm going to salt and pepper and season the, uh, the whole chicken mixture itself. So we'll let that uh, sit for a little bit. I don't know, five, ten minutes. We'll see. So what's happening is the onions and peppers, I turn it off. They have a little bit of color. They're soft, but still have uh, some bite to them. That's exactly the way I want them. We're going to let them cool. We got our rice in here. We let the water boil. Turned it off, put the rice in. And now you let it sit for what, ten minutes? Uh, about 14 minutes. All right, I thought it was four minutes off. Um, once all this is cooled, then we can get to mixing everything together. All right. So the onions and peppers are cool. Don't mind me, I was doing a little taste test. Ooh, that shouldn't go in that pan. Let me get another spoon. Way I thought of that. Let's throw these all in there. And then uh, our rice. This is pretty sticky rice. I personally like it that way. You may not. Wish I was left-handed. Come on, left hand. Get back here. Everybody wants to see me fumble with the pan. They don't want to see that. Now we're going to get some spices in here. What do we got here? Black pepper. Mm. Be pretty generous. I guess that's good. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure how much that is. You guys can kind of gauge for yourselves. Right here we got some garlic powder going in. Some cumin. Oh, I got a sprinkly side. <laughs> 
it's not working so well. I might have to unsprinkleize it. This is what, to me, makes this. There's something about this that just adds something just absolutely delicious when they're frying up in the cast iron pan. I don't know what it is, but that is awesome. It is awesome. Big holes on this, so I'm not going to try to sprinkle that out. Whoever made this redness, ah, they're pretty good, but I don't like it. When it has these large holes, because then it just goes, whoa. Alright, a little bit of salt, not too much, probably a, maybe a palmful here, not a palmful, but there you go. Let's see how much this is, how good this is. I usually do it in smaller batches, so I've got a better idea of the ingredient amounts. Alright, a little station break there. There was some concern over the amount of salt, and I certainly, most certainly do not put that much in one burrito, but since I'm making eight, I don't think that was a problem at all. That was about maybe, it might have been a tablespoon, might have been. They're going to be too salty. So, uh, just incorporate. Why, why don't we have a cat channel instead of a lumberjack barbecue channel? So you can crackers. Uh, I'll just edit that out. All right. So since there was some concern, I'll take a taste because I do not like stuff overly salty. So I'll dig in here and check it out. Maybe a little, I'll bet. All right, there was consensus that maybe it could have been a little less salt, but still my in-laws do like salt and so does my wife. And uh, I personally am not a big salt fan, but that was actually pretty tasty. I don't put a lot of salt in things usually. Apparently I've overdone it again. I have one video, I guess it's the top round sirloin or whatever, where I, all I get is comments about how much salt was on it. And that was delicious. All right. So now uh, what we're gonna do is go get our tortillas and uh, get ourselves uh, stationed up here to uh, work on wrapping these babies and we'll uh, see you soon. All right, so the great salt debate. I came up with a good idea, I think. Put tomatoes in it. Tomatoes like salt, and then I'll add something sweet. I think it was fine. I think that most people would like it, but we're gonna do it if I know it's good for me. So, that was about a medium tomato, kind of diced up. There we go. All right, now let's make our uh, burritos. So right here I have a taco warmer that I made myself. I'm not sure what the Spanish name is, I used to know. Or I did know, or I can't remember it right now. So this is that mayo with the uh, uh, Louisiana hot sauce. Put a little bit of that in the bottom. Pretty good scoop of this. Maybe just a touch more. Mm, I think a little more. Maybe. Let's try that. I kind of know what I'm looking at. What I'm looking for. Alright. So you fold it over on the sides. Bring it up like that. And you kind of want to wipe that stuff back there and roll it. And ba-boom. There is one. Let's show you another one. Now these I had to warm up in the microwave. These are fresh, so they're nice and soft and pliable. Leave some mayo for somebody else, huh? There we go. Now I usually put a lot of hot sauce on the mayo and mix it up right up on the uh, tortilla. Okay, pretty good? Alright. Get that kind of formed out. Bends in over kind of wipe into the center try not to make a hole in it there you go one more for you all right i'll show you one more and then we'll give you a break from this crap mayo some of your mix you're forgetting the cheese oh i'm forgetting the cheese you know i do that often a little more maybe I can't believe I forgot the cheese. Oh, duh. 
Well, it's the great salt debate that we're doing. Give me some uh, problems there. I don't know, about... Ooh, that's a little much. That much. This one feels a little tougher. There we go. And we'll go back and cheese these and we'll show you at the end what they all look like. And uh, shortly uh, after that, we'll head over to the in-laws and get a fire going and have some good times. All right, so that was all done and we got our burritos. I did get eight of them out of it. It was a little touch and go at the end. So I had to open up some, one, some that were a little more plump than others and uh, we were able to make eight. So we're gonna put them in the fridge and uh, get ourselves prepared to uh, head out there. And uh, we'll see you in my little nook down in the corner of the yard. Welcome back, here we are. There's my nook. I just told my, my father-in-law I can start hanging some stuff here and this and that. So uh, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, doing uh, a lot of videos here. So uh, let's get these burritos on. I got my cast iron down. Take a look, I got a, a rib rack down in there to kind of keep me off the fire. Um, I didn't have enough bricks to bring over. So uh, let's get it going. Let's see what happens here. I'm thinking a couple minutes on each side, and then we'll be good. And it might be even less than that. We're going to keep a good eye on that, and that way they don't burn. All right, first three are done. Rip Ram, ready to go, nice and crunchy. I'm loving the way they're looking. Look at that. Now, that's what I eat once or twice a week. I'll have one of these. Um, they are just totally awesome. There we go, first batch in. We got about five more. We'll uh, come back to you when we're done with the last of them and uh, we'll do a little taste test. See you then. Well, six down. They're all gone. We got two left. One of them is going to be a taste tester. Let's see what happens here. I mean, look at that. That looks delicious. Well, that's for general consumption right there. This one is mine, I'm gonna cut it in half. Let's check out what's going on here. I don't usually eat them when they're this hot. You can see all the cheese in there and the chicken and the uh, red pepper, onion, and it feels blazing. I'm sure my mouth's gonna burn. Let's check it out. Nice and crunchy. Oh yeah, that's good. I make these all the time, why wouldn't it be good? Delicious, I, the consensus is that they are very good and they would pay for these. And we'll see you next time. Peace.